Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we will compare between GMAT and GRE. About GMAT math problems. The GMAT math test consists of three math questions that must be solved within 62 minutes. The exam is composed of arithmetic, algebra, geometry, and word problem questions. There are also problem solving questions and data sufficiency questions, along with some data interpretation questions. There are both multi choice questions and objective questions. Logic based questions are more concentrated on the GMAT. On the GMAT, the CAT computerized adaptive test is applied to each question, while on the GRE, the CAT is applied to each section. About GRE math questions The GRE math test consists of 20 math questions that must be solved within 35 minutes per section. Students randomly either get a writing, quant, verbal, quant, verbal, quant, or a W, V, Q, V, Q, V exam. With a W, Q, V, Q, V, Q exam, a student needs to solve 20 problems per section for a total of 60 problems. With a W, V, Q, V, Q, V exam, a student needs to solve 20 problems per section for a total of 40 problems. W stands for writing. The GRE math exam includes arithmetic, algebra, geometry, and word problem questions. There are also problem solving questions, logic based quantitative comparison questions, and data interpretation and analysis questions. Others are subjective questions and multi choice questions, although there are some logic based problems. The GRE math is mainly composed of general math problems. Difficulty level and scope of GMAT math and GRE math. The difficulty level of GMAT math is a lot higher than the difficulty level of the GRE math. Students usually need to think more extensively to solve a general problem solving question on the GMAT than on the GRE. Of course, both exams are not simple. You should be careful because the questions are logic based. The exam time allowed for a GMAT math section is more at 62 minutes per 31 questions, that is, 2 minutes per question, than the exam time allowed for the GRE section at 35 minutes per 20 questions, that is, 1 minute 45 seconds per question. Although there are subjective questions on the GRE math, they are short answer questions and easier to solve. Also, a calculator is allowed on the GRE math exam. In terms of scores, a student who can achieve scores above 45 on the GMAT math can achieve scores above 165 on the GRE math. Both exams are not that pleasant. Both the GMAT and GRE include 11th grade high school math concepts. Calculus, trigonometry, logarithm, matrix, and limit are not within the scope of either exam. As for logic based questions, the GMAT has data sufficiency questions, and the GRE has quantitative comparison questions. The difficulty level of data sufficiency questions is also a lot higher than the difficulty level of the quantitative comparison questions. There are also common mistake types for both the GMAT math and GRE math. The GMAT math problem solving method and GRE math solving method. There are common mistake types for both the GMAT math and GRE math. Understanding these common mistake types is necessary for logical deduction and achieving high scores. The IV approach applies to problem solving questions on both the GMAT math and GRE math. The variable approach can be applied to solve DS questions on the GMAT, but it only offers suggestions for solving quantitative comparison questions on the GRE. The cross theory and gap theory are also important for GRE math. You are going to learn about these methods, no worries. They seem difficult because you are not familiar with the terms yet, but they are actually quite simple. There are advanced theories for both the GMAT and the GRE. These theories are necessary to achieve scores above 50 or 51 on the GMAT and scores above 160 to 170 on the GRE. Graph regarding GMAT and GRE scores. As you can see in the graph above, you will likely be accepted by a top 10 MBA program if you score above 700 in GMAT 
and 326 in GRE. In a GRE, there is only a 14-point gap between 326 and the perfect score of 340. However, in GMAT, there is a 100-point gap between 700 and the perfect score of 800. That's why it is difficult to score above 326 in the GRE. 1. As seen in the graph, the GMAT is relatively more advantageous to increase scores over time. 2. In the short term, the GRE is more advantageous to increase scores. 3. Although NBA programs in the U.S. say that there is no advantage for one exam over the other, more students take the GMAT, especially for top programs. 4. The GMAT tests students on their logic skills, and the GRE tests students on their vocabulary knowledge. There are no subscores for the GRE. If you are aiming for top 30 to 50 MBA program, taking a GRE test could be a good choice. It is easier to get a GRE score that is comparable to 650 in the GMAT, but remember that GMAT is designed better to test the students for the requirements of the MBA programs. There are always pros and cons. You can pick the ones who better suit your current status and target schools.